Here comes the rain. Oh yeah, it was such a beautiful day today. I may have some news to report about this Chevrolet. I cranked her up earlier. I was just curious to see if the head gasket sealer took because somebody asked me and somebody else sent me a video of K&W. K&W, K&W. Ooh, that's the lights on. K&W block sealer with fiber lock technology using military grade blah 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 hey if it works it works so let's put the lamp over here let's illuminate over there and let's crank this baby up now i'm going to show you something on the blazer oh, the glow plug relay didn't go click second time it didn't go click hmm. yep it did go click crank her up <laughs> action. I had it running for a couple of minutes earlier. Is it possible that the block sealer worked? The, uh, what was that stuff called? I forget. The blue seal. Oh, wait a minute. I don't have the radiator cap on tight. Uh-oh. Nice Ford tube radiator. Uh-oh. Here it comes. Uh-oh, so much for that. Yep, too good to be true. Give it a minute. There he is, the bubbles. I don't know, is it leaking or not? Assembled in Mexico.
It goes up and it goes down. Is that the thermostat opening and closing and letting the air escape from the bad head gasket? What was that stuff called? Blue seal, a little blue bottle? that I got at Walmart for $15 that says money back guarantee or product replacement guarantee. I think they could send you a new bottle. What am I going to do with it? Use it on my football or basketball or baseball or hockey puck? Hmm. I don't know. Well, I thought maybe I'd solve the problem, but I guess I could put another gallon of antifreeze in, but I was saving it for the Toronado. I don't have a key to the lock on this baby. Lights off, lights off, lights off. All right, let's see what else we got cooking here. I got the graffiti van in the door and I'm going to check the idler tensioner because it sounded noisy when it was really cold. And I think that one right there needs to be changed. I've got lots of spare ones. There's also one for the air conditioner down there, but I think I checked them all. I don't recall. But something I hadn't followed up on was the starter. Don't lose the key. I keep them in my key safe right here. I actually bought one and some brass key rings or blast brass key markers or tags. I'm going to crank up the blazer so you can hear my beautiful starter, but I think the starter switch on the top of the steering column is bad because it goes just like it did before. Crank it up! See, nothing. I'm turning the key. Yep, I need a new switch. I already adjusted it once. I'm clicking it and clicking it. I got no starter action. And I didn't tell you, but when I first put the starter in, I tried it. And it went like a bad, or a dead battery, or a weak battery, but it wasn't. It had 65%, which is kind of sort of normal. I'd played the radio, but nothing. I turn it a little bit harder. Oh, nice spin down. So I did a good job rebuilding it. Thank you. I know what I'm doing. On the old ones anyways, the new ones, forget about it. Oh look, check engine light. Um, yep, yeah, nothing. Turn a little further. But I think I already adjusted it, so I think it needs a new switch, which is a couple hour job. You gotta pull half the dash, steering column down. I got junk everywhere here. I worked on it last night for 15 minutes, I'm trying to get other stuff done around here. We had a nice day today. What did I do? Turn the light on. And I did that last night. A couple of cut down chrome sockets, washers because the bolts were a little too long. I spaced it down as much as I could. I'll do the same thing to the other side, just I'm going to use the factory spacers that are on top of the frame, which I don't understand. So I'm going to work on this thing. I'll try working on it a little bit every day, but I've got to use this van next week to go to Chicago and Tirana. I've got to pull the tranny on the three-quarter ton Suburban. So I'm going to check the idler right now and get it over with. Because I can't get this thing in the shop. I don't think the door will clear. This thing is a big whale of a van. All right, so that's my brief video. And nothing else has been touched around here. Just got some backup beepers. Beep, beep. They fail regularly. That's about it. I'm going to work on the idler and uh, work on this. And thank you for watching. Oop, where's the off button? It is right over there.